His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa arrived in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, leading Bahrain's delegation to the fourth two-day Arab South America summit to be held in Riyadh later today. His Majesty the King's participation comes in answer of an invitation His Majesty received from the custodian of the two holy mosque monarch of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. Upon arrival, His Majesty the King was welcomed by the custodian of the two holy mosques, the Emir of Riyadh, His Royal Highness Prince Faisal bin Bandar bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, the Deputy Premier Interior Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Naif bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, and Arab League Secretary General Nabil Al Arabi as well as Saudi ministers and senior officials. His Majesty the King expressed pleasure in arriving to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to take part in the 4th Arab South America Summit. He stressed the strategic significance of the summit, which is being hosted by Saudi Arabia, which is a pioneer in the Arab Joint Action and a supporter of enhancing the relations of Arab countries with the rest of the world. He said the summit comes amid serious challenges that require stronger cooperation to achieve the aspirations of the people of Arab countries and South American countries. His Majesty added that the summit will boost political, economic, social and cultural cooperation. His Majesty the King said the Arab summits with South America always consolidate relations between the two regions, appreciating what has been achieved in the past four years. His Majesty said he hopes that the summit reinforces cooperation in more fields as well as consultations in regards to issues of common concern to achieve further prosperity for the people and to preserve the security and stability of the two regions' countries. His Majesty the King is accompanied by a high-level delegation consisting of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of Royal Court Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, the Head of Survey and Land Registration Bureau, Sheikh Salman bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, Sheikh Hamad bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, the Minister of Follow Up at the Royal Court, Sheikh Ahmed bin Atiyatullah Al Khalifa, His Majesty the King's Advisor for Media Affairs, Nabil Al Hamar, the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zaid Al Ziyani, the Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Diab Al Naimi, and Bahrain's ambassador to Saudi Arabia, Sheikh Hamoud bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and the head of Royal Protocol, Major General Khalifa Al Fadala, personal secretary of His Majesty the King Hamad Al Kaabi, and commander of Sukhir Air Base, Major General Pilot Mohammed bin Hassan. His Majesty, King, his Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa bid farewell to his Jordanian counterpart, His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn al Hussein, upon his departure from the kingdom following a brotherly visit, during which the two monarchs held talks on the deep rooted relations binding the two countries and their people, in addition to the latest regional and international developments.
Earlier yesterday, His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a meeting with the Jordanian monarch, King Abdullah bin Hussein II, where they discussed their country's historic brotherly relations and means of bolstering them for the interests of both kingdoms and their people. His Majesty welcomed the Jordanian monarch to Bahrain, which reflects the strong relations between the two countries and their keen desire to continue consultation and cooperation between them. He expressed pride in their relations, which have a long history and which are based on joint coordination and understanding. The two leaders affirmed their keen desire to further develop relations to a higher level. His Majesty lauded the honorable stance of Jordan under the leadership of King Abdullah bin Hussein towards Bahrain in its support for Arab just causes as well as enhancing joint Arab action. They also discussed regional and international developments, coordinating their stances and affirming Arab solidarity to face various challenges which require further consultation and coordination. The discussion included the efforts exerted to combat terrorism and extremism in order to safeguard the security and stability of the region and its people. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at Qudaybiyah Palace today several state officials, journalists, media personnel, businessmen, academics and scores of citizens. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister commended the initiatives of the people of Bahrain which led to excellence in national achievements, highlighting the people's awareness of the challenges facing the region and their understanding of all approaches aiming to achieve higher national interests. He expressed pride in the values of coexistence and acceptance, which are characteristics of the Bahraini society. He said the government realizes that the most successful investment is the one targeting the Bahraini citizens, which made it focus its efforts to reinforce human development. He said the government welcomes the remarks aiming to support its policies to develop its performance and guarantee the best use of public funds. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister expressed pride in the positive interaction of media personnel for the report of the National Audit Office 2014-2015, which reflects the effective partnership and roles of national journalism. He pointed out that there are numerous challenges which require dynamic media that interacts with events and initiates analysis in order to raise the awareness of people, adding that national journalism has succeeded in becoming a source of national, regional and international news for the people. In regards to regional and international updates, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister said that conspiracies targeting the Arab nation are increasing, which requires the Arab Union to face these challenges. He praised the role of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, led by the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz al Saud, in reinforcing Arab solidarity and defending issues of Arabs and Muslims, in addition to preserving the security and stability of the region.
The Speaker of the Representative Council chaired the weekly meeting today. The Council agreed on the draft law of foreign affairs, defense and national securities report regarding Bahrain's joining with the International Convention on Maritime Search and Rescue, according to World Decree 53 of 2014. The Council also agreed on the reformulation of a permanent parliamentary of quality committees and added members to the various focused issues, including the Palestinians' issue and human rights. The meeting also agreed on the reformulation of permanent parliamentary of quality committees of youth and sports. The Council failed to agree on a suggestion regarding a request to meet with the Education Minister in order to convey citizens' problems and needs. Members of the Representative Council referred a report of the Office of Financial and Administrative Control of the year 2014-2015 to the Financial and Economic Affairs Committee. The Council agreed on the Services Committee report regarding conducting a comprehensive study on Bahrainis who work at sea who do not have a monthly income. The task team concerned with reducing recurring expenses which was formed by the Higher Coordination Committee chaired by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa visited today the Economic Development Board, the EDB, and the Ministry of Works, Municipality Affairs and Urban Planning in order to review the rental expenses in these facilities so as to implement the recommendations regarding reducing rental expenses. The Minister of Industry, Commerce, Tourism and Head of the Task Force concerned with recurring expenditure related to property, rental costs, rather cause Zayed bin Rashid Zayani said that the team had visited all governmental bodies and managed to issue its initial report. He also hailed the cooperation between the government and the six teams concerned with reducing recurring expenses, which would highly contribute in achieving effective solutions. Good evening and welcome to the Business News of Bahrain TV. The Bahrain on Shares Index closed today at 1,138.97 points, a decrease of 11.75 points below yesterday's closing. This was due to the fall in the commercial banks and industrial sectors, and the commercial bank sector was much more traded in representing 91% of the total value of shares traded. Results indicated that 104 equity transactions took place with a volume of 9,459,012 shares, worth the value of 2,167,611 Bahraini dinars. Good evening and welcome to the Sports News on Bahrain TV. The sports of horse racing in Bahrain has received world-class recognition after the Federation Equestrian International recognized and promoted Rashid Equestrian and Endurance Club to the third international standard accredited to horse racing clubs. The director at Rashid Equestrian and Endurance Club, Mohammed Abdullah Qasim Al Hermi, said that the accreditation will bring numerous gains to the club and contribute to the development of horse racing standards in the kingdom. Al Hermi praised the efforts of the club's High Commission, chaired by the son of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa for his efforts over the recent years, which have made a significant contribution to developing the standards of the sport. He also emphasized that the accomplishment was a culmination of directives of the High Commission Chairman, Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, and Deputy Chairman, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the outstanding efforts of the club staff who have worked di diligently over recent years. <laughs> 